Alrighty, so in this particular example, I've got two companies, a blue company and a red company. They both use Jiras, and the blue company is producing a blue product. The blue product, interestingly enough, has red parts inside, but obviously the blue company cannot produce red parts, so they defer to a subcontractor, a red company. Um, whenever the blue company needs a red part, they create an issue. Like this. And then this issue can be sent to the red company by simply transitioning it to the status uh, sent to red. Of course, uh, you would require some details that the, the red side would need to, to perform this red part. So uh, we transition. And what happens on the blue side is that um, the blue side uh, issue gets into on red side status, which indicates to the users here, and also is configured that um, uh, you cannot perform, a user on the blue company cannot perform any actions toward this issue because it should be handled by another company. So basically now there is an issue on the red sites company, right? And what the red company does, it uh, can start progress on this issue, start implementing this part. And once that they are done, they attach their results and they send this part to review. Again, as soon as this issue reaches the on blue side um, state, uh, for the red company, it means that there's nothing that people can do. This issue cannot be transitioned to any other state until the blue company makes a decision. And so the blue company is notified. They are told that there is a red part that they should review. So what they do, they really take a closer look into it, examine it, and they find that actually they need the red side to do some more work. So what they do, they say, oh, I'd like it to be maroon. They send this um, clarification to the other side. The issue is again on red side and uh, people in here cannot move it back. They would be expecting some results from the red uh, of course, they might find that their instructions are not clear enough, so they could provide some more instructions, like uh, uh, it shouldn't be so bright. So, they make all the clarifications they need, and the red company is, of course, notified of all of that. And of course, now the red company would be responsible for uh, delivering a new part. So what they do, they create it, they attach it, and then they send it back to review. Again, there's nothing that the red side can do anymore, which is indicated by the workflow status. They will be humbly awaiting for the blue company to respond whether this issue is fine and is ready. So the blue side receives the uh, new part. They can see that it's maroon enough, so they indicate that this is done. And that's it. That's the good story. The, the blue is happy with the part that they, they received. The red is notified that the blue is content. Um, so what I've shown you was two different systems, two different Jiras talking 
in a manner that allows people to know where's their responsibility and where's the responsibility of another company. Um, but there was a part that I wasn't commenting on, but it was present at all the times. It was the synchronization tool. Um, the synchronization tool could perform role of an SLA, which would say, uh, which would indicate that the issue, uh, if it was updated, uh, needed to send this update to the other side, and the other side would have been notified that here is the, the update, while you would get updated on uh, when did the other side see the results that you've sent, sent. So basically, you would know as a service level agreement that if you've synchronized just now, it means that the change was introduced just now to the other side and they would know about it. So, um, here's where I come to the second part of my uh, presentation. I'd like to show you how to configure similar synchronizations with a synchronization tool like Exalate. Basically, in Exalate, administrators would have to go and um, create a connection from uh, one company's Jira to another one. They would say, of course, I can access, or rather the network allows me to, to see the other side. There's no firewall. So I'm just saying, here's the, the URL to the a red issue tracker. And then I'm saying I would like to synchronize a single project, which would be test, the blue test. And I would say I want to synchronize blue test to oops, red test. I'm creating a connection. And then uh, as an administrator, I'm supposed to communicate with the administrator of the red uh, Jira. I'm supposed to deliver uh, an invitation and then the administrator on the, the red side would have to follow the instructions that are written here in this invitation. So basically the instructions here are guiding him to go to connections to accept the invitation that was just sent by either inserting the entire uh, invitation or just the invitation code itself. And then they would need to specify which project would they create uh, the issues coming over from the blue side under this connection. In this particular instance, that would be the red test project. So now the both sides are ready they have their connection set up. So I could go to the test project and I could create an issue. Call it um, check simple sync. Create an issue and then send it over. I'm using an Exalate issue operation, which just allows to synchronize any issue in your system toward a connection. So basically, this issue is sent over and uh, an issue on the red side is created. And if you set it up Exalate like this, you would normally just get uh, you would normally just get uh, um, synchronization of basic fields like summary, the description, the comments, uh, the priority, and all that stuff. So people now could have conversations and this, these issues and such. But of course, if you would require to configure some additional logic like the uh, workflow synchronization like this, you would need to provide some 
details to the configuration that we just did. So, um, well, um, that's easy like this. <laughs> uh, you can connect two companies. Huh? Easy enough, eh? Well, I hope you've enjoyed the, the demo. I'm really happy that you sticked so far with me. Um, I would be really happy to answer all the questions that you might have. Have a nice day. Bye.